So I was thinking about just opening the same packs on TCGO as the same packs that I just bought from last video, but I decided I don't really need that much from uh, Emerging Powers as I did IRL compared to TCGO, so I just got 10 noble victories. Anyways, hey guys, as well, uh, get a match here, you know, in a second. But first, we're going to do pack opening because those are always enjoyable. Right, right, right. Okay, let's go pack. What did we get? What? Ooh, ooh, we got a Terrakion. That's always nice. Um, what else? We got a Dino and as well as that's Rakion's nice though. That and an Electric, but Terrakion. Yeah, I like that more because I don't have any. Well, actually, I do have one other Terrakion, I think. But another pack. Let's go. And we got. I don't need another one of these. I know that they're special, but it's like this is my sixth or seventh one. Like seriously, why do I have so many Flipteenies? What, what the fuck, TCGO? Do I really need six or seven flip teenies? Whatever. Okay, next one, and we got a V-Create teeny. Wow, TCGO. You're you're definitely a troll. And nothing else really worth anything. I guess a Rocky Helmet. But and then our reverse holo, I think, is that Solasis. Okay, another pack. Let's go. Uh, ooh, another Hydreigon. Woo! So if I want to run like a 4-2-3 or something, or 4-3-3, I guess I could do that. But I, I trade bait too, but that's nice. And Jellicent's my other one, but I drag on better. That that's that's a good that's a good way to go. TCGO, thank you. Thanks for rubbing in my face how I can't pull anything IRL. Okay, next we got Hey a Cabalion. That's I I could use a Cabalion actually. Like if I wanted to build a cake deck or whatever. Which I might actually do if I get another Kyurem. You know, that that's there now to start me off. But Kabalian's also nice because I can build other shit or even trade it. But Kabalian's nice. Got a good few packs going. And hey, now we end the good pack streak with an Electros. And a Behem. Nothing else really worth noting. But everything, yeah. But hey, we had a good three pack streak. Oh, look at this. Another Victini. Two fucking Panseers. And that's not even the good Victini, but whatever. Not a great pack. Still, better probably than what I got IRL. If I lay right there, let's see, what's my rare? Seismitoad. Many Yamask. Wait, there are two Yamasks here. Different Yamasks? Still two Yamasks, though. Alright, another one. Let's do it. Let's get something good, and let's go lurk. Got an N at least. And then nothing else. Well, there's another Lampant, in case I really want to do... Chain Allure. Okay, another pack. Let's be good. Uh, uh, Violite, Archaeops, uh, Bisharp, Rocky Helmet. Otherwise, yeah. Well, we pulled that second Hydreigon, and we got Terrakion and Cabalion. Actually, I want to check how many Terrakions and Cabalions I have. I'm actually kind of curious now. Let's see. Let's go fighting. Let's check on my Terrakions first. Yeah. Okay, so I got one normal... One full art, so that is not bad at all so far. I just need one more, and I can work with that. And I only got one of the good Cabalions, so I need more Cabalions, I need more... I think I need one more Kyurem. See, I got one Kyurem right there, another one right there. See, so yeah, I need one more Kyurem, and then I need a couple more. I need one more Terrakion, and then probably a couple more Cabalions, and I can start working on something else. I also need to get some Electrodes, but anyways... Let's go on to this TCG video against, I don't know, because I haven't actually recorded a match yet, but by the time this is up, obviously there will be a match to record, so, uh, yeah, bye. This match is even going to be more of a reason why TCGO needs to get a fucking better staff and actually fix all the fucking glitches that are in it, because there is so much shit that happens in this match, well, not so much, but a lot of key, sh well, not a lot, but, like, two key things that make a huge difference in this match that wouldn't have been avoided if TCGO didn't have the stupid fucking glitch bullshit bullshit. But anyways, uh, we're going to play against a Durant Mill deck today. <laughs> that is so much fun, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, I have a terrible fucking start. I have a Sages that I can use. Otherwise, I have nothing else in my hand. I mean, I have a couple of Catchers, but I don't have any way to abuse Tornadus. Draw in another energy, and I see the Durants. Which, Durant, if you didn't know, uh, you... His first attack is one Steel Energy, and, uh, you get to mill off as many cards from your opponent's deck as you have Durants on the field. But, uh, play the... Uh, sages, and I decide, alright, I want the Engineer so I can draw into something better next turn. I know he can mill, but I'd rather have that draw power right away than later, 
Plus, I need all the energies I can get, and if I can get some in my discard pile, that's not a huge problem, because, you know, this is how that this deck works, is around that kind of shit. And he plays a Cobalion, which I didn't see in this until now, but I found out that's actually starting to get really common. But he plays down a Cleffa also, and he's starting to set up that Cobalion instead of his Durant, and I'm like, let's quick check wins. But he decides to eke out his hand, see what he can get, because I guess he doesn't have that great of stuff either. But I draw into a P column, and I'm like, alright, let's just go for Engineers. Pull into some really nice stuff. I get a Tynemo, I get a Raichu, I get a, a Pecom, I get a uh, Pikachu also. So, I have the Electric in my hand, so next turn I can evolve that Tynemo on the bench. And then also what I can do is I can uh, play the Collector to Pecom something next turn. But he decides to Pecom in my Pikachu, which, eh... Not the best choice in the world. He continues to set up Cabalion too, and he stays asleep. Not a huge deal because I have the catcher in my hand. So I can do evolve that electric rider. Uh, got my Tornadus a bit set up. So what I can do is uh, use Tide Mode to put another energy back on and, uh, you know, do some stuff. And I'm thinking, do I want to peek out something? But first, I want to get the collector going so I can. Uh, next turn set up my other Tynemo to be an electric so I'm like alright let's get, also get Zachram and Thunders because they're nice guys to have set up usually and I know Zachram will be really huge because I can take after two Bolt Strikes I can take down a Durant with one Outrage and Bolt Strike is going to be good for taking down that Cabalion well also I can use Raichu with Mega Thunderbolt for that but I'm going to peek on out the Tornadus I pulled for a Electric because I pulled Tornadus anyways because I already had a Tornadus on the bench So I just needed some random pecan fodder. I was kind of looking to see what else I had in my deck I have some good stuff, so I'm not too concerned. I decide all right Let's bring in that Cabalion and we'll just hit him with the Mega Thunderbolt this turn. All he can do For this turn unless he pulls into more energies. All he can do is go for uh, What's the move called all he can do is go for iron press or whatever it's called whatever the his first move is is where uh, he does 20 plus 20 for each energy attached, and since Mega Thunderbolt discards all my energies, uh, he can not He can only do 20, but I have resistance, so it would be nothing. So he needs energy to do damage to me, but the thing is also, uh, he had a special metal energy which uh, buffers him 10 damage, so that kind of sucks, so I'll have to work around that a little bit. But he Pecoms out, or not Pecom, he Collectors up. He only gets one Durant and a Rota, meaning one of his Durants is prized, otherwise he would have pulled the other one for when something dies. But he gets another energy going on his Cabalion, and he just does it to Iron... Is it... Wait, is Iron Break? I don't even remember what Cabalion's actual attack is. But the point is, he just did an attack that does 80, which makes it so I can't attack this turn. But I wasn't going to attack with Raichu anyways, but I go for another Sage's Training, looking at it, see what I should get. I'm like, alright, I want that energy for later on to set up Zekrom, and then, uh... I want that engineer's adjustment just for later in case I need more draw power. I probably should have taken that, uh, the, 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 probably should have taken the junk arm, but eh, oh well. But uh, outrage will be enough to take out that Cabalion. He only had 10 health, and so that 10 health buffer that he got from the special dark, or not special dark, the special metal, won't really matter because take him out. Anyways, um, he's going to revive that Cabalion. It's like, no, I just killed you. Go away. Brings in the Cleffa, though, but he can just retreat it out right now if he wants to because he has that one Durant set up, so he can at least start to mill a little bit if he really wants to, but he'll probably want to just because he has that Rotom so he can try and switch out the top card and then see what he can pull up. Plus, he might not think I have another energy to uh, go for a Bolt Strike on that Durant, so, you know, possibilities are possibilities. But he's just going to bring in Durant after he does stuff. He mills off two of my junk arms and an oak, and that's just like, fuck, 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 it, fuck, it, fuck. But, yeah, that really sucks. So now I'm thinking, alright, do I want to just take out the Durant, or do I want to take out Cabalion? But first of all, I decided to set up Tornadus a little bit, because Tornadus is kind of cool. But I said, alright, let's just Bolt Strike out that Durant, because fuck Durant, because Durant. But anyways, yeah, take it out. He brings in Cleffa. And, uh, you know, it's a Cleffa. Draws in that one card, and it turns out it was an Aviolite. So he's going to put that on one of his Durants. And, uh, you know, it's not really going to matter, because after I get two Bolt Strikes off, I'll be doing 90, which minus... No, I'll be doing... I'll be doing 100. So minus 20 is 80. He only has 70 health, so it doesn't really matter for Zekrom that much. And he plays a uh, Flower Girl thingy, which is like... Put three energies and three Pokemon in 
your deck, which it's just a better version of Super Rod, but I guess Super Rod's only a trainer. But he does the Junk Arm glitch, where you, if you only have Junk Arm one other card in your hand, you can just discard the other card for Junk Arm, which TCGO should fix that. So now he gets a catcher, and now he can just catch her in one of my eels. And I was looking to see if I had to switch it, or see how many switches I had left in my discard pile, and I had both of my switches there, so he can easily just do that. And then now I'm at the mercy of his eek, and also the fact that I don't really have anything else right now. Draw to Cleffa, not really going to help me. So I decided, alright, let's just set up whatever I can. Get my Tornadus fully set up, and then we can start on Thunderous. And I don't have any other plays, so I'm just going to have to be at the mercy of his Cleffa. But luckily, his Cleffa stays asleep. But I believe he pulls into another Violet, which he sets on his other Durant. Which, like I said, it's not going to matter too much, because I can still take it out. And I'm, He sets an energy on something. I think he sets it on Cabalion. I don't remember, though. But uh, he's going to Twins up, and I believe, I don't remember what he Twins is for, but I think he'd want to go into a Switch. He's kind of looking to see what he had. I think he'd want a Switch, and if he could, he'd want another Durant, or he'd want to Revive to get his other Durant back. So, mainly I think he'd want to go for a Switch, but this turn, I think he just gets another Durant, so I guess that's one of the things he Twins for, but I don't know. Whatever, I guess he might have another Revive laying around. But he didn't pull up a switch, but I guess he didn't feel like it'd be that beneficial, even though what he could have done is he easily could have just milled some cards off my deck. But Cleffa goes to sl wakes up now, but luckily I pull into my final junk arm. So now I can junk arm out a Pikachu and a Tynamo, because they're both useless right now. Grab that switch, switch right on out, and I can go into whatever I want, which preferably Zekrom. And now I'm thinking, alright, do I want it? catch her in anything would anything really help i'm thinking all right let's get rid of that durant what i should have what i should have should have should have should have should have done is take out that cabalion if i taken out that cabalion a lot of my worries would be gone right now and right here but instead he gets to keep his cabalion and i decided instead just to take out cleffa to remove some draw power but now he's got the cabalion in i really like i said i really should have fucking taken it out then and there because then it would have been in a lot better of a situation Oh yeah, he set that energy last turn onto his Durant, but uh, he's going to go for Twins again, which makes sense why he runs Twins, because Durant, but uh, which Twins, if you didn't know, if you're behind on prizes, uh, you get to pull two cards out of your deck of your choice, any two cards, so that's kind of nice, but uh, he's going to play an Aviolite onto his Cabalion, which means I can't take him out with a Bolt Strike, I can't really do too much. But he's was going to try and play a switch, but then he's like, wait, no, I want to get my second Cleffa out and then play the switch so I can get some stuff drawn. But I guess he doesn't want his Cabalion to attack just yet. But I do have a catcher, so if his Cleffa stays asleep, I can just uh, catch her in whatever I want, do some damage to something. So what I could just do is I can Outrage, then Bolt Strike Cabalion to take it out since it has a Violet now. But uh, he's going to wake up this turn and decide, all right, you know what, let's just fucking take out this Cleffa. I was thinking maybe I should bolt strike, but I'm like, no, if he somehow gets enough energy, if he gets another energy on Cabalion, he can just uh, go for his first attack and just take me out. I think it's Iron Press and then Iron Breaker, I don't remember. The point is, the first attack will take me out if he gets another energy going, because that'll do 80 to me if I, and if I went for another bolt strike, that would easily just take me out. So he's going to get a rescue energy on that Cabalion, and uh, he's going to catch her in, I believe, yeah, my Tornadus, which doesn't really make much sense because I can still go for that Hurricane to do a bunch of damage to him. But he's going to poke a gear for something. I don't know what. I forget what. I think he gets another Twins and then he's going to probably play it unless he can't because that was a supporter for the turn. I don't remember if Twins is a supporter or not, but he's going to switch stuff out with Rotom. But, okay, he didn't play a supporter yet this turn, so he's going to play Twins, and you know what Twins does already, because he's played it a bunch, so, yeah, I'm going to have to wait to see what he plays, so I'm like, alright, let's see, what can he pull up, what can he pull up, um, I think he'd probably want to pull up more energy, maybe a revive, so that he can get Paul I am working properly, and here's the glitch out, the huge glitch I was talking about, he's able to play a second of Violet on Cabalion, you're only supposed to be able to play one item, I believe, and either way, uh, two fucking Aviolites, that'd be fucking stupid, like, I don't know, whatever, so, that means I can barely do any damage to him right now, I decided to go for the Engineer's Adjustments, and I pull into a DCE, so I can at least, if he catches in an eel, I can just switch that out the following turn, so, he gets 40 back, that means I'm only dealing 40 to him, which, uh, which, yeah, if you don't know what that sound means, it basically means, wow, I am fucking screwed. Actually, no, not really, because after that damage, 
If he tries to take me out the next turn, I can just bring in Zekrom for a bolt trick. That'll still be enough to take him out because uh, 80 plus 40 is 120, and he only has 120 health. But I believe this turn it is, he decides to catch her in my... My, my Zekrom, I believe, actually. I think that's what he does. I think he catches in Zekrom. If, or he doesn't catch her in any, no, he catches in an eel, which, does he take back? No, I think he just keeps it. But then he puts a special metal energy on him, so that means I can't take him out of the bolt trick, because now I'll only do 70, and he'll be left to 10, and then he can take me out the following turn. So, he took back the catcher, and now he's actually going to catch her in Zekrom, I believe, so he can Iron Breaker that. I, 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 where the fuck is my, my Pokemon cards? I know I, I have an Iron Cobalion, and I could look at the effects, but screw it. Or, the attack names, but whatever. Point is, he's gonna go for the strong attack that turn, and I can't attack now because of that, so I'm gonna retreat out, but first I want to get my Tornadus set up. I'm willing to sacrifice Tornadus if it means that I can take this thing, this Cobalion out. I'd rather keep Zekrom around instead of anything else, so I'm gonna retreat out to Zekrom and I can put one energy back onto it because I need to get another energy on Tornadus to set it up for this turn. I'm like, alright, do I want to do anything else this turn? But I decide, let's just hurricane him. So I only do 30 because of that cheating double violate bullshit, which TCGO, you really need to fucking fix that. Like seriously, if you put double violate on Zekrom, you would get a free 120 move. You wouldn't even need to charge up an Outrage. Like, that's fucking stupid. But he has all four of his Durants on the bench now, if I didn't already mention that. But, uh, yeah, this Cavalian will be able to take out my Tornadus this turn. And I guess he doesn't have any catchers left to play, so he'll just have to take out Tornadus. Which, not a huge deal, because, like I said, I have Zekrom. That'll easily take him out. He has 70 damage done to him, I believe. Which would mean I only need 50 to kill him. My Outrage is powered up to 130. Minus the... 20 from each of Iolite, and then the 10 from the special metal. That basically means I have more than enough power to take him out, because that's 80. So I set up Raichu a bit more, and Thunderous, and I'm like, let's just Outrage, and that'll take him out, because if I went for um, Bolt Strike there, I would have killed my own Zekrom, and I only have one prize left, so I just need to kill a Durant, and that's my game. But uh, he's going to send her in, send her in, no, send in one of his Durants in a second, because... Uh, I have enough cards in my deck, though, that he can't deck me out, and so, really, it's hopeless for him. He's gonna actually set another energy on his Durant. He's gonna revive that fucking Cabalion. Actually, I think he takes it back, and then he has another Cabalion in his hand he can play. And it's like, no, Cabalion, I already hate you enough as it is. Actually, I really like Cabalion, not gonna lie, but I, I don't like it in this match right now. But he's actually gonna use the actual damaging attack, which is Vice Grip with his Durant on my Zekrom to just take it out, and I send in Raichu, and I'm like, alright, what I really want to do is catch her in that fucking Cabalion just to take it out, but he decides to just uh, concede the game, and I'm like, no, I wanted to kill that fucking Cobalion. Like, it deserved to die, but I didn't get the chance to, because fuck you. But anyways, that is the match for today. TCGO, you need to fucking fix your shit, because you almost cost me a win. Then again, I kind of had the game under control anyway, so... It was kind of eh, whatever, but, you know, still, th that makes Zekrom overpowered. Like, seriously, if it doesn't even take any recoil from a 120 move, that that's just so fucking stupid. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. So, yeah, blah, 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 etc, etc. Rate, comment, sub, and later, guys.